So what you're looking at right now are officials gathering in a, to get ready for a press conference. We're, the reason why we're not bringing it to you live right now is because it's not going on. But when it does happen, we do have our microphones hooked up to there. And we do have the capability to bring that to you live. So you will get firsthand the information about this um, situation at Kelly Elementary. And what you're looking at right now is that we're telling you the, the information that you need to know for parents. Go to Laguna Riviera Park. If you are just tuning in right now, perhaps you're just getting the information. If you want to go and uh, get more information about the situation, what school officials and law enforcement are telling parents, that's where you'll get it firsthand. There were about 100 people about an hour ago, but as we saw pictures as they're being revealed to us, more and more parents and relatives are showing up there as can be understood you know they want to know and they want to retrieve their children and as jason mentioned put their arms around them and hug them and you know just say oh my gosh my goodness you know you're safe thank heaven so um, that's a situation that we have right now those are the the points that you should know the suspects in custody parents go to laguna riviera park i also want to emphasize that we are very very careful when we release information to make sure we have a source. We want to know what the source is and we want to make sure that's confirmed before we put information out. We don't just throw it out there. This afternoon, perhaps our best source of information so far today has been this gentleman, Scott Chandler, who lives nearby. His children graduated from the school. He knows the school. He knows the campus. He knows the teachers, the nurse, the principals. He was working nearby. There's a construction project going. When, after the shots were fired, he was one of three people, apparently, I believe three is the number. He described two other construction workers running, uh, taking this guy down. Apparently, Scott got to him first. They were able to disarm him. It was shortly thereafter that a Carlsbad police officer came, cuffed him, and took him into custody. Again, he, he was disarmed at that time. Scott went with the principal, who he knows, to the various classrooms to check on the kids. He described it as being okay. The kids were okay. And then he went into the nurse's office. At that point, the lockdown began, and so he's locked in there with Carlsbad police. But we're all wondering what's going on inside the school, just as you are at home. And uh, Scott Chandler has been our best source, an unofficial source, but one that uh, we're relying on right now to, uh, to get us information at a time when everybody's reaching to try to get some information. And photojournalist Cynthia Farum, who works for us here. Uh, Cynthia, you were at the press conference. What did you learn? Well, what I've learned at this point is that um, two people were in their car, saw a gentleman firing off rounds. They actually tackled the person. Two children have been injured. Their injuries are not serious. And right now, that's about what they're saying. And when you say they're saying, who is that, Cynthia? Oh, oh they just had the, the head of the police department came up. He gave a briefing to us. Like I said, he said two children have been wounded. The wounds are not serious. Um, they're hailing these two guys that came up and held the uh, shooter down. Um, I, I, I did an inter another interview that is not confirmed. This is just with some people standing by that said that they saw a guy standing there, firing off rounds. It went boom, 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 boom. Uh, it went silent. And uh, they said he was carrying a like a Halloween pumpkin or something like that. And um, Cynthia, actually the news that we've been waiting to hear is that the two children who were injured were not seriously injured. So that's probably the best news that we can hear other than the fact that the suspect, a suspect, has been apprehended in all of this. What else can you tell us from where you are? Um, well, from where I am right now, of course, you have all kinds of emergency vehicles. The fire department, I saw the FBI come in, police department, uh, all their command units are in here. The school is on lockdown at this point. I don't know how long it's going to be on lockdown. Uh, parents who came up to the scene frantic, you know, hoping that their children are okay, trying to get information. But uh, it's a scene right now. That's about all I can tell you. A lot of emergency vehicles, a lot of police officers. Uh, like I said, it's a good thing that the two children, if there is any good, is going to be minor injuries, not serious. But that's about all I know right now, Marion. And Cynthia, did they describe the suspect at all? Because we have an eyewitness account of that the man was, because you, you said that he was carrying a pumpkin. Is that right? Now, this is what some other people at the scene were telling me that I interviewed earlier. He was carrying what appeared to be 
something that looked like a pumpkin. That could be the five and then gallon he was gas very can. calm. And then he was walking amongst the kids and then just started firing, firing, firing. Okay, Cynthia, as we look as we look down on this scene of getting around the eucalyptus trees here, uh, I know you're not, I'm not sure if you're seeing it, Cyn Cynthia, but uh, they're using a robot to look at what somebody could have mistaken for a pumpkin, a five gallon gas can. And that's what has also been described as in possession of this gunman at the time. So at this point, we just have to wait and see.